morning everyone um welcome back to my channel today is saturday uh, i got up a little early this morning and i uh, ran a couple of errands one of them was to our dutch uh, farmer's market and then i also went to um trader joe's into the post office to return a swimsuit that i had purchased online so i just wanted to do a quick haul and show you what i picked up while i was out favorites from trader joe's is the cookie butter sandwich cookies i really like these i this is like a nice snack for me in the evenings after dinner when I want a little something sweet. Um, that's usually when I eat them. So this is normally a pickup for me from Trader Joe's. Um, I also picked up a, the brownie truffle baking mix. We haven't tried this one before, but um, in case we wanted something sweet, it's really easy to make, at least according to the instructions. I hope it's really good. Usually the things that we buy like this are good. Um, the pumpkin mix has not come out yet um, which i'm happy about because i would like summer to last a couple more weeks i'm gonna take a sip of tea um i also picked up um, the jalapeno sauce this is actually one of my favorite sauces i really really like this. I don't know. dipping sauce for me it has a little bit of kick which i really like um so this is one of the things that I um, like to pick up. I actually just found it a couple of uh, months ago, but I like it and it think, I think the folks in my um, house like it also. Um, I've been seeing a lot of the folks trying 21 Season Salute. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so it was like $1.99, so I thought I would pick it up. It says it has onion spices, which include black pepper, celery seed, cayenne pepper, parsley, basil, marjoram, bay leaf, oregano, thyme, savory, rosemary, cumin, mustard, coriander, garlic, carrot, orange peel, tomato granules, lemon juice powder, oil of lemon, and citric acid. That's a lot, a mouthful, and I'm assuming that's why it's 21 seasoning salute. So I'll let you know what I try this on. Um, I might have some salmon for dinner tomorrow, so I might try it on, on a piece of it because we do have um, a cedar plank seasoning that we like um, to put on our, on our salmon. But I might put a little bit of this on a piece of it just to see how it tastes. Um, this summer, we actually um, saw the ghost what is it called? A ghost chili barbecue sauce, and we actually like it. It um another another one of those things that has a little bit of heat to it. Um, so I'm afraid that the end of the summer is coming. I only had maybe 16 bottles left, so I did pick up two that um will potentially last us for the next couple of months. Cause we use barbecue sauce on barbecue, but we also use it as a dipping sauce. So where some folks might use um to um, ketchup, we will more than likely use barbecue sauce. Um, I picked up some hand sanitizer spray. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the Grapefruit and Limit. I'm going to drop this in my purse, but since this was part of um, what I picked up, I wanted to show you for the haul. And I saw this on uh, someone's YouTube channel. I cannot remember who it was, but this is the Chicken Tikka Samosas. Um, so I wanted to try those, so I picked up a box of those. And then I saw it on the same person. I hate that I can't remember who it was, but she had the spicy Thai shrimp fried rice. Now I've had shrimp fried, um, what I thought was just a regular a shrimp fried rice from Trader Joe's before, but now I'm wondering. I don't recall it being spicy, but um, again, because I like a little spice, I picked this one up. Spicy Thai shrimp fried rice. And then is one of the staples I like to keep because it's for um, for an easy dinner or for um, an easy breakfast. Uh, the roasted shrimp, the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. This is a really easy um, thing to have on hand to round out your dinners or your breakfast. So that's all I got from uh, Trader Joe's. Oh, no, no, it isn't. One more thing. I picked up my flowers. I picked up these yellow roses. Um, they reminded me of my daughter. So yellow roses for this week's um, fresh flowers in the house. So this is it. Trader Joe's has fabulous um, flowers, um, not just roses. I just choose roses, um, but they have all kinds of flowers and plants, succulents. Um, so if you haven't gone there to check those out, you should definitely try it. Uh, they're very reasonable. I think these are seven dollars six ninety nine and i usually go once a week and i buy some flowers i have been flowerless this week um so i really need to put some in the living room to brighten up my um space so now that is everything that i picked up from trader joe's i'm going to go over and show you what i picked up from um the dutch farmer's market 
I picked up um, just a cut of watermelon. This looks, mm, I don't know how much it is, um, but we don't, I, I struggle with buying um, just enough food because I'm not big on um, wasting food. So I try to get smaller pieces of things um, so that, you know, there's no or less waste. So this time I got um, just this much. I'm going to take um, that and I'm going to um, cut it up and put it in a container so that we can just go in and grab and eat on it for over the next couple of days. I picked up a very small head of um, broccoli. Um, this is what I picked up. Um, probably one day this week I'll throw it in the um, oven with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic and just roast it. My son does not like broccoli. He doesn't like most green things, so I don't have to worry about him eating it, any, eating any, and that's why it is so small. I also picked up a very small head of cabbage. I'm going to, I'm going to fry this up with some onions and peppers, um, for another, um, vegetable for the week. So that's the stay tuned. And I picked up a couple of small sweet potatoes. Um, these will just go in the oven and um, with some olive oil and roast them so that we can have some roasted sweet potatoes um, to eat on during the week, again, to round out um, a dinner. I also picked up, I actually went and saw they had the um, bacon with the rind on it. So those folks that know about the bacon with the rind on it, Hit your sister down in the uh, comment section and let me know how much you like it. Um, and I really wanted to buy some of that, but it wasn't looking, it was really, really fatty. So I did not get that. Um, I was actually going to get like maybe a third of a pound of that um, just because it's probably just would have been just me eating it. But since I didn't get it, I ended up going with a pound of the applewood bacon, which really looked good. So I got that for, um, I guess, dinner breakfast tomorrow and then it should at least last to next week and um, breakfast for next week also um they're talking about putting dinner on the grill this evening so um i picked up some of their hot grillers which i really really like um to me um when we normally cook out we have hot dogs and premio the hot premio sausages but these hot grillers are really good and a nice change of pace from the premiums and let's see what else Oh, and then my citrus of choice is lime. I like limes better than lemon. It's taken me 52 years to figure that out. But I picked up three limes from the Dutch farmer's market. And last but not least, I picked up some potato salad. Like I said, they're going to put stuff on the grill. Um, I am not a potato salad eater. I do not do a lot with mayonnaise i'm not big on mayonnaise but you know when you go into the grocery store you can go over by the deli section and you see this um dutch potato salad and you know when you're not making it homemade that you know it's good in a in a in a clinch so i went over to the little salad section to see what they had thinking that they were going to have that they did not have um, i don't mean they they were going to have it precisely that but i thought they were going to have something that was a little that was close to that so they had um what they called a white potato salad and then they had a mustard potato salad so the mustard obviously is yellow and it has egg in it and the white and so and, and that one is a sweeter one um and then they, the white one is has onion in it and it is not sweet so this kind of sounds like a mixture of how we make potato salad in my family so i got I asked for a small container and didn't realize um, how small it was. Um, I asked him to give me half of the mustard and half of the white. So that's what you see here. And then when I realized how small it was, I said, I needed two. Um, if I had been thinking and realized how small the containers were, I just would have gotten one of the mustard and egg and one of the white. But here we go. This will round out um, and give them a salad to have with um, whatever they put on the grill today. Um, I'm drinking my iced tea my Gold Peak Diet iced tea, um, and wondering what you're doing today. Did you go to the farmer's market, to a farmer's market? Did you go grocery shopping? Because I still have to do that. Um, I don't have a lot to do because I did kind of a big um, grocery um, grocery shopping uh, run last weekend, but just a few things just to round out the week. 
ahead so um i'm going to put all this stuff up i'm going to go jump in the shower and then i'm gonna go head to matchbox to have a brunch with one of my good girlfriends one of the girlfriends uh, one of my friends i've been friends with over 40 plus years so i hope you all have a wonderful saturday if this is your first time joining me in my channel, uh, please feel free to subscribe. You can use the subscribe button um, that you see in one of these areas. You can also use the bell, which will let you know when I post videos. If you are returning, thanks again for stopping in. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful uh, Saturday, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.